Greetings. In this video, I'll show you how to jumpstart your website using Astra's free starter templates to build and launch a site incredibly fast. We'll cover how to import a starter template, how to delete or change a template, and how to easily customize the template to fit your brand. Let's get started. Okay, so here we are in what is essentially a default WordPress install. I just have uh, some site branding and I've installed a theme already. So let me show you how to get started with the Astra starter sites. Let's go to dashboard and we'll go to appearance themes. And you need to install Astra if you haven't already. So let's go get the free version of Astra. You can go to add new and just search for Astra and then click on Astra and activate install. Just make sure you do not choose Astral, which is a different theme altogether. And for this demo, we're gonna be using the free version of Astra, which is available to anybody. If you do want more features, I highly recommend the pro version of Astra, which you can get using my link in the video description. But the free version is still a great starting point. All right, the next step here is we need to go get the Starter Sites plugin. So let's go to Plugins, Add New. And we want the uh, Starter Templates plugin. And it's right here, Starter Templates for Elementor, Beaver Builder, Gutenberg, and Brizzy. And we'll just click Install Now. Activate. And it's taking us to our activated plugins. And you can see right here under Starter Templates, we could click See Library. The other way to access these Starter Templates is to go to Appearance, Starter Templates. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do if you are using the free version of Astra is filter out all these agency templates, which are only for the pro version. So we're going to go to here and just select free to make sure we only see the free templates. And now you can just scroll down until you see one that sort of looks like the design you're going for. All right, I like this template here. And don't worry too much about what it's called or who it's targeted at. You can make any of these themes work for any sort of business or website. So we're just going to pick the accountant theme and you can choose whether to import single pages or import the entire demo site. So we're gonna do the whole demo site. So we'll click import complete site. Now, if you previously imported a site and you want to delete it, you can check this box, which is to delete the previously imported site. I will say I've had some issues with this where it doesn't necessarily delete everything. Sometimes this option leaves pages behind. So you just wanna make sure you delete that. But I want to keep everything else checked just to make sure the site imports correctly. So we're going to import the customizer settings, the widgets, the uh, required plugins, and the demo content. Now, it can take a few minutes to import all the plugins and required content, especially if you're on a slower web host like shared hosting. So just be patient and hopefully everything imports properly. And I'll just see you on the other side. All right. It says the site was imported successfully. So let's go check it out. All right, so we've imported the site and you can see it's overwritten uh, the branding and customizer settings that we had set previously. Now, if we go to our dashboard, you can see that we've had some new plugins installed. So it's installed Elementor for us and it also installed uh, WP Forms Lite. Those are the only two plugins required for this layout, but this is one of the simpler templates and it's also added some new pages here. So these are all the pages it's built with the exception of the privacy policy, which was already here. Now, how do we go about editing these pages? Well, let's go back to our site. And let's say we wanted to turn this into a website for a home theater installer. Well, we would click edit with Elementor and we can start customizing the site. And we can change this image here. So we'll just go to the section settings, click style. And if we click on the choose image here, you'll see that the Astra starter sites has added this new tab to our library. And this, this lets you choose free images from Pixabay, which really uh, speeds up your word flow. So we could search for movie theaters. And here's an image that looks good. Let's try this image for now. Save and insert. And we can put a background overlay over it just to darken it a little bit. Okay, that looks good enough. All right, let me go ahead and delete this nice accountant lady and we'll fill out the remaining content on the page to match the site.
Okay, now if we refresh the site here, I think it's looking pretty good. All right, there's a couple more tweaks we could probably make. For example, we would want to change our logo here. So we could just go to customize, go to header. So if we go to our site identity and you can see here, it says the logo on this page is set from the transparent header section. Please click below to customize transparent header. So let's go to our transparent header and we can remove this, uh, this logo for the transparent header. And you would just want to replace it with your own logo, but I'm just going to display the site title for now. Now let's go customize our contact form. Okay, we've got this nice contact form at the bottom of the page, but I wanna change the hero image as well as change the form fields. So let's start by getting rid of this image here. All right, here's a nice image that should work for the background. And again, we'll delete this image. So if you're wondering how you can edit this form, if we click here, you can see it's just a short code for WP Forms. So we actually need to go into the WP Forms plugin to edit this form. So let's just click update to save our changes here. And we'll go back to the WordPress dashboard and we'll go to WP Forms. You can show all forms. And you can see here, we have this one form that's been created and imported by the Astra Starter Sites plugin. So we'll go to edit. And we can remove some of these because we don't need them all. So we don't need the number of employees, incoming invoices, outcoming invoices. And maybe we can check, put one more form in here just to get some feedback from what the people are interested in. So anyway, we can save our form. All right, so now that we've saved our new form, if we go back to the front end here, all right, and on the front end, you can see that we've got our new form field here with the custom checkboxes that we just added in the form. And we've removed those other form fields that we don't need and kept the three essential ones. Now, how do you change the color scheme if you don't like this orange sort of color scheme that came with the template? Well, it's a little bit tricky, but let me show you the basic places to look. So let's go to the WordPress customizer. So we'll go to global. And let's change the buttons first. So say we want to make these buttons uh, maybe red instead of orange. So we'll click on buttons and for color, change the background color to a reddish color. And you can see it changes both all these buttons, including this one up here will be changed. And let's just copy this color for future reference. You can adjust the fonts by going to global typography, and then change the fonts for either the base typography, the body text, or for your headings. And now we will actually want our links to also man it, uh, to match our buttons that we changed. So in order to do that, let's go to the header settings and then transparent header. And if you scroll to the bottom and click menu, we can edit the link text and color for the menu. So we can make it, for example, red or white. We'll keep the base at white, but for the hover color, which is also the active color here, we wanna change that to match our buttons. So I'll paste in that color that we copied before. And there you go. All right, I think we pretty well covered it. So do you have a favorite starter template for Astra or a suggestion for a future video? Make sure to let me know in the comments and also make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming tutorials. Thanks and have a great day.